In the northern expanse, where the sea meets the land, under the vast skies of Japan and Russia, lives a people whose roots delve into the fabric of time. The Ainu. The Ainu people, indigenous to these lands, carry with them a heritage as distinct as the patterns etched into their traditional garments, a testament to a culture that whispers the tales of ancient earth and sea. The Ainu's unique physical features set them apart from the majority of Japanese population, with their robust frames, wavy hair, and pronounced facial features echoing the diversity of human beauty. Their language, unlike any other, serves as a vessel for their rich oral traditions, stories that have been passed down through generations, preserving the wisdom of their ancestors. But it's not just their physical appearance or language that makes the Ainu stand out. It is their profound connection to nature. The Ainu see themselves as part of a larger ecosystem, where bears and eagles are revered, where rivers and mountains are brothers and sisters. Their spiritual beliefs are deeply entwined with the natural world, seeing the divine in every leaf and every ripple. A belief system that respects the balance of life. The origins of the Ainu people are shrouded in mystery, a puzzle that archaeologists and historians have long sought to solve. Their presence in Japanese folklore can be traced back thousands of years, predating many of the waves of migration that shaped the region's history. This deep history has led to speculation about ancient human migrations and lost civilizations, with some theories suggesting that the Ainu are the descendants of the Jomon, the prehistoric people of Japan, known for their intricate pottery. The Ainu's struggle for recognition and rights has been a long journey, marked by periods of oppression and assimilation policies. Only recently has there been a resurgence in the Ainu pride, with efforts to revive and preserve their language, crafts, and traditions. This resurgence is not just a matter of cultural preservation, but also a reclaiming of identity, a declaration of the Ainu's enduring spirit. As we delve deeper into the story of the Ainu, we find ourselves confronted with questions about what it means to belong to a land and to a history. The Ainu challenge us to reconsider our narratives of progress and civilization, reminding us of the value of diversity and the importance of respecting all cultures. The mystery surrounding their origins invites us to explore a broader theme of human migration and the ways in which societies are formed and transformed over millennia. It opens up a space for dialogue about the complexities of cultural identity and globalized worlds, where the lines between ancient and modern, between indigenous and outsider, are constantly being redrawn. In the heart of Hokkaido, among the forests and along the rivers, the Ainu continue to live in harmony with the land, guardians of a heritage that is both ancient and remarkably relevant. Their traditions, stories, and way of life offer insights into a different way of being in the world, one that honors the interconnectedness of all things. As the Ainu move forward into the future, they carry with them the legacy of their ancestors, a bridge between the past and the present, between the earth and the spirit. Their journey is a testament to the resilience of indigenous cultures and a reminder of the richness and that diversity and what it brings to our collective human experience. In the story of the Ainu, we find a narrative that is both uniquely theirs and universally human, a narrative of survival, identity, and the enduring quest to understand our place in the tapestry of history. Thanks for joining me on another episode of Whispers of Myth. And remember to like and subscribe.